P for teen. This fall, there is only one way to get incredible as THQ brings the Disney Pixar theatrical blockbuster film, The Incredibles, to the Nintendo GameCube system. Based on the adventures of a family of undercover superheroes who are forced into action to save the world, The Incredibles video game delivers non-stop excitement along with state-of-the-art graphics. And now, for the first time ever, we'll take you behind the scenes to meet the talented team responsible for creating the game. Welcome to the making of The Incredibles, the video game. First and foremost, The Incredibles is an action game. You're playing five different player characters, and they're all very different from each other in terms of their move sets, in terms of their combat abilities. Mr. Incredible is the head of the household. He's a big, strong guy that can pick up objects and hurl them great distances and take out a large number of henchmen in a single blow. You also get to play his wife, Mrs. Incredible, whose ability is to uh, change her shape and stretch enormous distances, like uh, plucking guys out of midair or grabbing a hook that she can use to swing across. They have uh, two children, and uh, you get to play either Dash, who's their son, who can run at supersonic speeds and avoid blasts and uh, just run great distances, or their daughter, Violet, whose two abilities are to either turn invisible or form a force field on her. So in her levels, you get to use a lot of stealth. Well, the movie's about an hour and a half long. The game's about 15 hours long, so there's a lot of content that, that, uh, that has been added to the game to make sure that it offers a, a, a competitive experience. So while we are not telling a different story in any way, shape, or form, there are places in the film where they might spend a little bit of time, and we're spending a lot of time. So for instance, maybe a 30-second scene in the film might be a 13-minute level in the game. So we've been able to take uh, environment scenes, pieces of cities or jungle environments, and we've been able to blow them out into this full, huge 3D world that is alluded to in the film, but you don't actually get to see all of them. So in the game, you kind of get to see all the behind-the-scenes stuff that might have been on Manasan Island or in Municiburg or other locations in the film. Pixar's been very involved in uh, the process of making sure that we stay true to the spirit of the movie, making sure that we stay close to the storyline while we're expanding in the game to provide the player you know, a larger experience, it still very closely follows the storyline of the movie and the same timeline. They've also been providing us uh, concept art and approving our models and our environments as we've been developing them to make sure that we have the same vision for the game as they had for the movie. And they would ask us a lot of questions. You know, what does this look like? Or how should we do this? Or can we drop this to make this other level work? You know, it's like, yeah, yeah. So there's a great back and forth. So I would say there was a lot of input both ways. The process of having the movie being made at the same time as the video game, I, I think is, I think it's challenging in a few ways that sometimes, you know, the video game can get further along than where we are in the movie. So if we're looking for reference or looking for, you know, how a character might be moving or what the environment might look like, it's a little tough. The music overall for The Incredibles is a, kind of a 60s orchestral jazz thing. And the director really wanted that sound, that 60s sound. He wanted everything authentic, real instruments, no synth, no, nothing, nothing that wasn't there at the time. I enjoyed doing a lot of the retro sounds that we did. I mean, I enjoyed some of the sounds of the 60s and styles we were able to revisit because it was a definite stylization that both we've been able to do with the game and the, and the film. The orchestrators that I worked with on the film, they were able to help out and turn the film music into what is going to become the game music. And if you listen to them side by side, you say, well, yeah, that definitely came from The Incredibles. That feels like from, it's from the world of The Incredibles. People play games for a lot of different reasons. One of them is because they want to be transported to another world. Well, we're taking you to the Incredibles world and we're letting you be incredible. Be the Incredibles, if you will. When you look at the quality of the film and the quality of the game and, and the amount of variety and you know, great graphics, amazing places, a very distinct look and feel and style, it's got everything that you want out of an interactive entertainment.